cloth like this stuck between your ankle and your wrist and living like that. Wrap it up. Curl up. Pretty sweet, huh? Well, that's the life of a flying squirrel. Imagine also that you can't actually fly down. You can't actually fly up. Just kidding. You can't fly up. You can only fly down. And when you fly down to a tree, you gotta grab onto the tree. And then what you do is you curl up all the way up and you turn and you jump again down to the next one. As you're flying, you're grabbing all of these insects and bugs from the air. But once you get down to the ground too, you're like, hmm, look at all this stuff down here. They eat whatever they want. They're opportunistic feeders, omnivores. Otherwise, they like to be called. And of course, if you're not familiar with how they look when they're flying, they look a little something like this. They don't actually fly, they glide. So they really should be called gliding squirrels. You know what I mean? We have two different kinds here in Wisconsin. We have the northern flying squirrel, the southern flying squirrel. Their names are much more complicated than that. But you can mostly find this one. The other one is really hard to find. Trust me, it is. I've tried. But you're really lucky to try to see these because they're nocturnal. So, unless you can see in the dark, most of the time you see them when you catch them in traps, which is what they're working on at Schmeekly right now. They, they find little, they get little traps, they put it down on the trees, catching mice and voles and little squirrels. Sometimes they catch some of these in there because when they, when they turn to their trees, they fly down. They hit the bottom and sometimes they get stuck down there and they find some good food. They like that peanut butter in those traps, by the way. And they find they can crawl in there and they get stuck. And you imagine it's one of these in your little tiny little trap. The trap is about the size of the squirrel. It's kind of, they get stuck in there. Imagine opening up that trap and being face to face babies. They're actually born. They don't look like this. They're hairless. And you can actually see all of their little organs in there. It's so cute. Imagine seeing their little livers and lungs and heart beating. It's so cute. They live like that for about five weeks. And then when they do come out, they look a lot like this. And they're all squished in their little burrows just like that. At about five weeks, they'll start coming out and their mothers will just kind of kick them out to fly down to a branch or two. They start small. They'll start up there, and they'll just go down to a branch, then down to another branch. They're way too small to climb themselves all the way back up that tree. You know what I mean? They're just about little babies. At about 10 weeks, they're ready to go, and they'll be released out to this weekly reserve. So when you're out here at about dusk or dawn, depending on how you like to come out to Shemekli, but not during the dark, remember, because it's closed, Keep an eye out for these guys flying around. Duck low, because they can't really steer that well. They have to use their wrists and their ankles. And think about living with that potassium just sticking out all the time. It makes a mighty nice blanket to curl up.